I'm so excited um, about this ceremony because it's my first as Dean of the Gabelli School of Business. <laughs> I want to wish you all a very warm Gabelli School welcome. I am so thrilled to be here to honor our exemplary Gabelli School 2023 graduates. Each person being recognized today has demonstrated excellence in ways that stood out to our faculty, to staff, to administrators, and of course, to your families, who many of whom are here today. We are all so proud of you. This time of celebration is special for me because it is a reminder of how incredible our students are and makes clear to me that our best days will always be in front of us with leaders such as these exemplary future Gabelli School of Business alumni leading the way. Recognizing that you represent the best of Fordham and the embodiment of our hopes for the future I spent a lot of time thinking about what I would say to you today. You've already spent many years absorbing and applying new knowledge. You have brought the best of yourselves to your studies and the way that you lead your lives as people for others. So above all else, I would ask that you continue to bring your best selves to all that you do. Of course, give your best to your work but remember to also give your best selves to your passion for new knowledge, to your development of wisdom, and to your contribution to building the world that you want to see. But most importantly, remember to give your best selves to those who love and support you regardless of your failings, because it is those relationships that will sustain you throughout your life. You're clearly used to winning and succeeding. That's why you're here today. While I have no doubt that you will win and succeed in the end, you most definitely will not win every battle. There may even be times where you find yourself doubting if your dream is worth the struggle. It will seem all the more difficult when you see others abandon decency and honesty for personal or financial gain. During those times, it's important to remember that there is no gain worthy of losing your soul. The good news is that if you don't quit, you keep pushing forward while staying true to your values, you will win. Yes, it will require hard work and sacrifice, but your ultimate success will not only benefit you, it will forge a path for others to follow. Now, on behalf of the Gabelli School of Business, I want to extend our warmest congratulations to you for this recognition on your graduation and on a job well done. Go forth and change the world. Congratulations to our class of 2023. So at this time, I am so pleased to present our first award. This year, we are here to honor two alumni. Our first award winner graduated summa cum laude in 2018. She majored in applied accounting and finance with a global business secondary concentration. In addition to her impeccable grade average, she was part of the Alpha Sigma Nu Beta Gamma Sigma, Smart Women Securities, Senior Research Analyst, FAM, and the Rose Hill Society. She also participated in our Student Managed Investment Fund and did summer internships with Credit Suisse. After her time at Gabelli, she went on to be a sales trader at BNP Paribas and has remained connected with us since then. I am thrilled to give the first Gabelli School of Business Alumna of the Year Award to Lorem Basile. Thank you. Do you want to stay? Mm -hmm. 
Our second award winner graduated magna cum laude in 2020, one of the most challenging years for our students with a major in finance and a secondary concentration in global business. While at Fordham, she was the CEO of Smart Women Securities, participated in FAM, the Rose Hill Society, and Fashion for Philanthropy. She also participated in SMIF and did summer internships with Goldman, Energy Capital Partners, and Northwestern Mutual. She went on to become an associate at Goldman Sachs, and I can personally tell you is always willing to speak with current students about their interests in Goldman as well as their recruitment plans. I am thrilled to give this second Gabelli School of Business Alumna of the Year Award to Daniela Basile. I will now announce the students who are receiving the Gabelli School of Business New Alumni Award. This award honors students whose overall record in both curricular and extracurricular aspects exemplifies the best in the Gabelli School of Business. These students represent outstanding new entrants into the alumni body and are models of what students should strive to be. Winners of this award had, have demonstrated the ability to find balance in life among work, play, and service. Congratulations to Marissa Garvin, James Lickman, Thomas Lickman, and Wynne Scheffler. Thank you, Dean Axoy, Lorem, and Daniela. We will now recognize the many class of 2023 students who were inducted into honor societies for academic achievement. Please welcome our Senior Assistant Dean for Undergraduate Studies, Marissa Villani. Good afternoon, and thank you so much, Dean Silver. We at the Gabelli School of Business are incredibly proud of the work that our students do, both in and outside the classroom. The following organizations exemplify excellence that our students showcase on a daily basis. First, we would like to recognize the seniors who are part of academic honor societies. Please stand when your individual honor society is called. I would like all of the students in Alpha Mu Alpha to please stand. Alpha, Alpha Mu Alpha is an honorary society of the American Marketing Association. Congratulations. Would all of the students in Alpha Sigma Nu please stand? Thank you. Alpha Sigma Nu is the National Honor Society of Students in Jesuit Colleges and Universities. Will all of the students in Beta Alpha Psi please stand? Thank you. Beta Alpha Psi is a premier national scholastic and professional fraternity devoted to students in the financial information industry. Will all of the students in Beta Gamma Sigma please stand? Thank you. Beta Gamma Sigma is an honor society for business students and scholars. 
Will all of the students in Omicron Delta Epsilon please stand? Thank you. Omicron Delta Epsilon is an international economic honor society. Will the students in Phi Kappa Phi please stand? Thank you. Phi Kappa Phi is the oldest and largest collegiate honor society dedicated to the recognition and promotion of academic excellence in all disciplines. Congratulations to all Honor Society students. Next, I would like to recognize the students who have dedicated their time to the United Student Government, Commuting Students Association, Residence Halls Association, and Campus Activity Board. Will anyone who served in these four organizations please rise to be acknowledged? Now I will recognize those who have participated in the Finance Scholars Program, the Marketing Scholars Program, and the First Year Diversity Scholars Program through the Office of the Personal and Professional Development. Please stand up. Our freshman advising mentor program is composed of upper upperclassmen who take out the time from their busy schedules to provide academic advice to first year students. These students help with orientation, they organize small group advising, and they generally act as role models for first year students. Will anyone who has served as an advising assistant please stand so we can give you a round of applause. And I would like to especially acknowledge the freshman advising coordinators, Amanda Evans, Molly Sunis, and Lois Van Waring. Our next group is composed of students who act as Dean Axoy's undergraduate advisors. The Dean's Council are often the students who tell the Gabelli School story, at admission open houses and other events. They also give us perspective on our Gabelli School curriculum. Will the senior members of the Dean's Council please stand? I would le next like to welcome our Assistant Dean of Honors Opportunities and Dual Degree Programs, Brian Dunn. Thank you, Dean Villani. The Boyle Society core values are based on the ideals of Father William Emmett Boyle of the Society of Jesus. Specifically, the Jesuit ideals of seeking excellence in everything you do and being men and women for others. May I ask the members of the Boyle Society to please stand to be recognized. Next, I would like to recognize the students who are graduating from the Ignite Scholars Program. This program challenges students to become change makers in business and in society. Through their capstone projects, students developed and tested solutions to real world problems. Students, when I call your name, please step forward to receive your medal. Emily Batuner. Emily's capstone project was entitled Genesis. Caitlin Keene with the project name <laughs> Perry Valion. <laughs> Natalia Kimmelshu. Natalia's capstone project was entitled Cuba Uncovered, bringing transparency to Cuba's private market. Wow. 
Matthew Rose Ruane. Matthew's project was entitled The Finance Factor, Relaying Personal Finance Through Media. <laughs> Amelia Sembler. <laughs> Amelia's capstone project was entitled The Ugly Duckling Company. Nicholas Suits. <laughs> Nicholas' project was entitled Easy Eats. Rena Thomas. <laughs> Rena co authored her capstone project entitled Equi Recruit. Jonathan, or John Townsend. John's project was entitled, The Ship is Sinking, The Coming Collapse of the Dollar. <laughs> He's a little excited about that. I saw the arm raise. And on Tron. Han's project was entitled Artificial Intelligence in Healthcare. Congratulations to all our Ignite Scholars Program students. Next, I would like to recognize the students who are graduating from the Global Business Honors Program. This four-year program offers additional rigorous coursework as well as international travel, as well as the experience of writing a group or individual thesis project. Tonight, we recognize the GBHP students for their honors thesis work. Students, when your name is called, please step forward to receive your medal. And I'll read the student's name and their thesis um, project. Emma Barrett. Social media's effect on investor behavior. <laughs> Jacob Rosen, the implications of football club ownership. Sarah Gloria, a cost-benefit analysis of the SEC's environmental disclosure proposals and the effect on business, auditors, and shareholders. <laughs> Daniel Kelly, the risk and return characteristics of buy-right strategy in specific marketing indices. Nikhil Mehta, the impact of urban economies on real estate. John Rosansky, COVID's impact on the distribution of wealth of industries and households in the United States. Emmy Simming, analysis of SEG shareholder proposals through the lens of SABS materiality framework. <laughs> William Smith III, politics integration of SEG and CEO compensation in firm credit ratings. Adam Wernock, acceptance of virtual reality as a data visualization tool. Yeah. 
Andrea Yi, the impact of investor sentiment on crypto pump and dump schemes. Next up is the E. Gerald Corrigan Thesis Award, which is given for the thesis excellence in the Global Business Honors Program. The winners were determined by faculty vote. This year, there are two honorees. The second prize award goes to Emmy Simoning. The first place award goes to William Smith III. Congratulations, students. Next, I would like to welcome Associate Professor Luke Kaczerski, who will present the medals for the Honors Thesis Program. Thank you, Dean Dunn. Uh, as I call our Honors Thesis recipients' names, please come to the stage to receive your medal. Maya Bentovum, Generation Z in the Workplace, Modernizing Benefits Through Personality and Values. Sarah Daniels, The Impact of Movies on Investor Attitudes and Investment Decisions. <laughs> Ryan Fahey, The Effects of Financial Literacy of Low-Income Females on Their Long-Term Financial Behaviors. Melissa George, The Impact of Social Media Influencers in Corporate Brand Equity. <laughs> Davin Roberts, Consumer Response to ESG Initiative Based on Location and Product Nature. <laughs> Lois Van Waring, the accuracy and reliability of target prices during extreme volatility. So great work to all of our uh, thesis students. Very proud of you. <laughs> Next, I will present the Patricia Ramsey Honors Thesis Awards. These awards are presented in memory of Pat Ramsey, a beloved management professor and a true champion of student research. Working side by side with her friend, Associate Professor Marsha Flicker, Pat inspired students to pursue independent research on business topics and develop their findings into publishable papers. Today, we give two awards in Pat's honor. The winners are Maya Bentovim, The Impact of Values and Personality on Novel Employee Benefits for Gen Z, advised by Professor Yulita Haber. And our second winner 
is Davin Roberts, How Social Media vs. Environmental. <laughs> Deserve the applause. I just want to a shout out to her advisor, uh, Professor Yulia Komarova. <laughs> Congratulations to each of you. Thank you, Dean Dunn and Professor Kaczorski. I'd now like to take a moment to recognize the academic excellence of a number of students. The following awardees have the highest grade point average in their respective majors and primary concentrations. For the five-year, 150-credit public accountancy program, Alex Simon. For the four-year, 120-credit public accounting program, Lauren Clark. For the Business Administration Accounting Concentration, Eli Taylor. For the Applied Accounting and Finance, Davin Roberts. For Accounting Information Systems, Callum James. For the Business Administration, Business Economics Concentration, Yiming Wei. For the Business Administration, Entrepreneurship Concentration, Leah O'Rourke. O'Rourke. For finance, Vanessa Marku and Emmy Simning. For the Business Administration Finance Concentration, Richard Torres, Jr. For information systems, Rena Thomas. For the Business Administration Information Systems Concentration, Julia Andrea Malabanan. For the Business Administration Management Concentration, Kira Langhein. In Marketing, Stephen Pastor. For the Business Administration Marketing Concentration, Caroline Mahoney. For the Business Administration Social Innovation Concentration, Ellen Gibbons. And for the Business Administration Consulting Concentration, Anthony Castellani. Congratulations to all of these wonderful students. I will now present the New York State Society of CPAs Award. This Superior Scholarship Award is for a senior who has done outstanding work in accounting. Congratulations to Lauren Clark. Our next award, the Angela Lopez Higher Education Opportunity Program Award, recognizes the highest cumulative grade point average attained by a Gabelli student in the HEOP program. It is named for Angela Lopez, an HEOP student of great personal warmth and academic dedication. Congratulations to Juan Rodriguez.
The next award, no. The next award recognizes a hardworking student who has completed their degree through the Gabelli Evening Program. Congratulations to Nicholas Jonage. Uh, next, we will recognize a student who received an award from Fordham College Rose Hill for Excellence in Jewish Studies. Congratulations to Maya Ben Tovim. And now I'll turn the program over to Melissa Yegley, Assistant Dean for Juniors, who will be announcing the Benedict T. Harder Award. Thank you, Dean Silver. The Benedict T. Harder Award is presented to the senior athlete with the highest scholastic grade point average from the Gabelli School of Business. The award honors Dean Ben Harder, who served from 1979 to 1983. Congratulations to Mallory Lipinski. Yeah. Includes the academic awards for the class of 2023. Please give yourselves a round of applause. I would now like to introduce our second valedictorian. She is a finance major and has been a part of Beta Gamma Sigma, as well as a recipient of the Woolworth Scholars Award. After graduating, she will head to Hofstra University to pursue her JD. Please welcome Vanessa Marku. Before I begin, I would like to first congratulate my co-valedictorians. I can only hope that you will continue this next chapter feeling as special, recognized, and capable as you do today. As I stand before you, I recognize that this is a tremendous honor and one that I am humbly grateful for. In fact, I was so humbled that I waited before I told my parents, as I knew that my mom would want to tell each member of my family, neighbors, the UPS driver, the woman who owns the nail salon, someone's grandma at Target even. Proud mama moment, I know. With being given the task to speak before you all, I found that I was organizing my remarks in a rather unconventional way, but in the form of a two-part love letter. The first, to the people who have shaped my very being, the second, to Fordham. Dated May 12, 2023, I present to you all a letter of my deepest gratitude and appreciation. To my loved ones, this moment is for my mom. In an ode to our shared love for the great Gatsby, you are the green light at the end of the dock, my symbol of hope, and my greatest friend. For my dad, for being my greatest inspiration, I recall a 12-year-old me tracing the dents in the wooden bench of the courtroom the first time you brought me with you to work. I was in awe of you then, I'm in awe of you now. For my 18-year-old brother, Jaden, I will always be your nod of approval that I will look for in any crowded room. For my grandparents, who sacrificed everything in coming to America as ethnically Albanian immigrants from the country of Montenegro, you are the reason I will be pursuing a Juris Doctor degree at Hofstra University's Maurice A. Dean School of Law in the hopes of becoming an attorney. For my aunts and uncles, who have cheered for me in the stands of every chapter of my life, I adore you all. For my younger cousins, Maddox, Alton, Marcus, and Layla, I hope I've made you proud and will always be a role model to you. And finally, for my beautiful friends, I've only known to describe you as the treasures of life, my keepers. And now to Fordham. When I perform the cliche act of closing my eyes and thinking about my time here with you, I am found in many small yet meaningful moments. I picture the familiar face of a professor who I would share a soft smile with as we pass each other before my Tuesday night real estate class. I recall a classmate asking me to read her introduction to her final paper. It was wonderful, by the way a public safety officer offering me a ride to the parking garage as I struggled carrying a box of Fordham Health and Wellness t-shirts. Each of these moments is grounded in the theme of compassion. 
I thank you Fordham in allowing me to meet some very wonderful people and for the faculty and staff for treating us as more than just a number on an attendance sheet, but as a person filled with character and potential. The 20, class of 2023 defining just that, young adults filled with fervor, ready to make their mark in the world. I can only hope that you, the class of 2023, can show yourself first and then the people around you the very compassion that Fordham University has been so kind to show us these past four years. I sign off with all my love, Vanessa Marcoux. Thank I'm a little vertically challenged, so we always have to drop things down. I, I still don't think it's low enough, but that's okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for that wonderful speech, Vanessa. I'm so excited to have you up here and listen to all the beautiful things that you all have to say. Now we will move into the leadership awards. Before announcing the winners of the Gabelli specific awards, I would like to take a moment to recognize two students who have won awards to the Office of Student Life. This recognition is awarded each year to seniors who exhibit the ability to lead, organize, empower, and inspire fellow students. Recipients possess a high degree of commitment, creativity, innovation, initiative and integrity. There's a lot of eyes in that one that confused me a little bit. As a member of the committee that was um, part of choosing these winners, I was able to hear firsthand how valued these two students are to not only the Gabelli community, but Fordham as a whole. When I call your names, please stand. Everyone, please join me in a round of applause for Juan Rodriguez and Catherine Baggin. The next leadership award honors a senior athlete concentrating in finance who has su successfully balanced academics along with his or her athletic commitment. This year's Nicholas Brandy Marty Award goes to Thomas Callahan. I would now like to turn the program over to Hanna Fazi, Assistant Dean for Global Initiatives, who will be announcing the International Business Award. Thank you, Dean Yegli. I will now give out an award that recognizes students who have achieved highly in international business. Globalization is one of the four main pillars of the Gabelli School of Business Education. The International Business Award is given to seniors who represent the ideals of global business education and who participated actively in the International Business Association, a student organization. The award goes to William Smith III. I would now like to turn the program over to Dean Dunn, who will be announcing the Beta Gamma Sigma Award. The bronze medal is awarded to a member of Beta Gamma Sigma. This year, the award goes to Jing Xiong Zhu. I'd now like to welcome Sadabu Sila, the director of the Social Innovation Collaboratory, who will present the Social Impact Award. Thank you, Dean Dunn. The Social Impact Award is given to students whose work and personal value supports the idea that business can be conducted in a way that can create benefit to society. Congratulations to Savas Christoforou, Davin Roberts, 
in Emilia Semler. I'd like to welcome Al Bartosik, Executive Director of the Fordham Foundry, to the podium. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Saribu. Um, the Entrepreneurship Award is given to students who possess the entrepreneurial traits of open-mindedness, creativity, innovation, and resilience. The Forum Foundry would like to congratulate Joseph Nussbaum. <laughs> Dean Cook will now announce our next two awards. Thank you, Professor Bartosik. The C-STEP Award is given to a student who exemplifies the mission of the C-STEP program, scholarship, professional development, and commitment to succeed. Congratulations to Patricio Pula. <laughs> Next, we have the Economic Impact Award. This award recognizes standout students whose curricular and co-curricular pursuits have a positive impact on the local and global economy. The awards go to Carter Bergeron and Matthew, Matthew Rosa Ruane. This next award, the Patricia David Trailblazer Award, honors a, member of our uh, honors a member of our class of 1981, Patricia David, a champion of diversity in the workplace. This year's trailblazers have served as mentors and role models for their peers, paved the way for classmates to secure coveted career opportunities, and motivated those around them to achieve excellence. This year's winners are Catherine Doss and Maggie Corderer. Congratulations. Next, we have three awards, each of which is named for one of the three Jesuit ideals that define the Gabelli School of Business. The Cure Personalis Award is given to students who exemplify the Jesuit value of care for the whole person, showing a commitment to the holistic development of their peers and others. The winners are Ashley Higgins, James Ross Kiroff, and Adam Wernock. The Ominous Pro Alice Award honors students who are truly men and women for others. They are Emily Batuner, Sarah Daniels, Cole Janes Ostrom, and Molly Sunis. The Magis Award honors students whose excellence propelled the Gabelli School forward, academically and as a community, reflecting the Jesuit principle of doing more. Congratulations to 
Maya Bentovim, Catherine Baggin, and Daniel Kelly. The Rachel Ragone Unity of Heart, Mind, and Soul Award is awarded to a student who, in the Jesuit tradition, exemplifies a personal character of deep compassion, steady perseverance, and spiritual fortitude. The award is in memory of Rachel Ragone, member of our class of 2018. Congratulations to Lois Van Wern. Congratulations to all of our wonderful students. And before we present the faculty and staff awards, I want to take a moment to recognize Dean Betsy Parr. <laughs> or should I say Dr. Parr? <laughs> Betsy, please step forward to join me on the stage. Betsy is leaving to embark on a new journey. She has left an indelible mark on the Gabelli School and its students throughout her time here. Please join me in thanking Dean Parr for service to Gabelli. We will now move on to the faculty and staff awards. The first of the faculty and administrator prizes is the Gabelli School of Business Appreciation Award. It is presented to an administrator or faculty member from another part of the university who goes the extra mile for our business school. Our winner is an assistant director in the academic records office. She works tirelessly with all the Gabelli campuses and is an integral part of training new staff. One of the nominations wrote, Rosa was mentioned by so many of my colleagues as the go-to person in academic records. After meeting her, I knew this was the absolute truth. Rosa is always available to answer questions, no matter how big or small, and she's always willing to go the extra mile in her explanations. This year, we honor Rosa Puglisi. Congratulations. <laughs> The Reverend Garrett J. Fitzgerald Award is for the business faculty, administration, or staff member who's made a significant contribution to the Gabelli School. This year, our winner is one of our very own in Gabelli Dean's office who has given so much of himself to our community. One nomination reads, Bob is a constant source of positivity and is always a team player. We can rely on Bob to always support Gabelli initiatives, and he often takes on additional projects with a creative twist. His efforts are often not visible, but his impact is far-reaching. We, as a school, should honor quiet leaders who lead for the sake of making a positive impact. This is Bob Daly.
Next, I will give out the two faculty awards that relate to Fordham's Jesuit tradition. The first is the Faculty Cura Personalis Award. As you heard a little earlier, in relation to the student version of this award, Cura Personalis, or care for the whole person, is probably the most well-known phrase in Jesuit education. Congratulations to Brent Horton. Brent Horton is Associate Professor and Area Chair, Law and Ethics at Fordham University Gabelli School of Business. Professor Horton teaches courses in business law, business organizations, and corporate and securities law. In 2009, he received the Cura Personalis Award presented to the faculty member who best embodies the Jesuit principle of care for the whole person by nurturing and challenging students' hearts and minds. We are so impressed that even after 14 years, Professor Horton is still dedicated to the Jesuit mission. The second of these awards is the Faculty Magis Award. Magis, which as you heard, literally translates to the word more, which means striving for excellence in all that we do. This year, that value is embodied by Robert Chang. <laughs> Professor Chang joined Fordham in 2008, where he became an integral part of the information systems area. His professional experience in areas such as business process reengineering, project program management, and system development methodology improvement, coupled with his research interests in software process improvement, information system economics, and e-commerce design, demonstrates his strive for excellence in all that he does. We are so fortunate to have him with us. <laughs> Next, I would like to present the Dean's Award for Teaching Excellence, two awards based on nominations from the senior class. First, congratulations to the winner award for full-time faculty is James Russell Kelly. <laughs> Jim could not be with us tonight, but we are sending our love from the streaming service right there. James Russell Kelly, the director of the Gabelli Center for Global Security Analysis, teaches courses in value investing and global investments. He is also the faculty advisor to the university's Student Managed Investment Fund, through which Gabelli School of Business undergraduates invest $1 million of Fordham's actual endowment in a variety of domestic and international asset classes. One student nomination reads, Professor Kelly's mentorship through the Student Managed Investment Fund is unmatched. He goes above and beyond to create a culture where 28 students can become best friends and learn to love the markets. When Professor Kelly speaks, everyone listens. Congratulations to Professor Kelly. And now I have the pleasure of announcing the Dean's Award for Teaching Excellence for part-time faculty. And the award goes to Michael Gatto. Yeah. Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Gatto teaches courses on credit analysis and distressed debt, value, and special situation investing. His courses, coupled with his professional experience with companies like Goldman Sachs and Silverpoint Capital, have been revered by students. One student nominee nomination wrote, Professor Gatto has long been a great mentor for his students. His professional skills empowered hundreds and hundreds of his students to achieve their dream. 
His humor brings light and fun to Rose Hill on a Thursday night. His caring personality makes students exchange ideas and thoughts comfortably. Professor Gatto will be a perfect candidate for this award. Congratulations to Michael and to all of our faculty and administrators. Before moving on to our Student Capstone Awards, I would like to take a moment to recognize a Gabelli senior who was featured in Poets and Quants undergrad as one of the best and brightest. This award honors one student who exemplifies all the best that the Gabelli School of Business stands for. Recipients are selected based on academic excellence, extracurricular leadership, personal character, innate potential, a striking personal narrative, and an overall impact on our program. The recipient joins 100 students nationwide selected from 50 leading undergrad business programs invited by Poets and Quants to participate in this annual public recognition. Please join me in congratulating Lois Van Wering. And now, we will move on to our Student Capstone Awards given to a few of our most dedicated and high-achieving seniors. Please welcome Rachel Cardiganer, Associate Director of Young Alumni and Student Engagement to present the Alumni Chair Award. Good afternoon, everyone. The Alumni Chair Award is presented to a senior who inspires their peers, who achieves excellence in intellectual and extracurricular endeavors, and who makes contributions that will outlast one's time as an undergraduate. Above all, the award presented to an individual who embodies the Jesuit tenets of Cura Personalis and Magis, as well as the commitment to serve as a ram for and with for others. But it does not stop at commencement. The award is a symbol of leadership, and we challenge the recipient to do more, to take up a leadership role in the alumni community as an, a member of the Young Alumni Committee or as a regional and affinity chapters, as a mentor to current students, and above all, as a servant leader among peers and a model of unwavering devotion to their alma mater Fordham. This year, the winner of this award has truly devoted herself to Gabelli. In her time with us, she has been an Ignite and Menorah Scholar, part of the Smart Women Securities, a member of the Fordham Foundry, SMIF, and many more. She interned with DCA partners, Goldman Sachs, and Evercore. She was also the chair of the Dean's Council from 2022 to 2023 academic year. In consultations with the Dean and on behalf of the Fordham University Alumni Association and Fordham's community, community of more than 200,000 living alumni, I commend and congratulate this year's recipient of the Gabelli Rose Hill Alumni Chair Award, Natalia Kimmelshu. You do have to come up and sit in the chair, come on. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll mail it to you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. you really appreciate it. It's awesome. Go to your seat. in the chair. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. Big moment. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Next is the Mozilla Future Distinguished Alumnus Award, which goes to a student who has demonstrated excellence in all areas of the undergraduate experience, personifying Fordham's mission by making excellence the focus of their life. This year, the winner of the award has truly devoted himself to the Fordham community. In his time with us, he has participated in Dean's Council, 
the Alternative Investments Club, and the Investment Banking Society. He has been a role model for students who want to be a part of the Fordham community. The Dean's office staff are always so impressed with how much time and effort he spends on the fourth floor working on his assignments and helping his classmates. Please join me in congratulating our Mozilla Future Distinguished Alumnus for 2023, Bear Devinder Bobby Singh. <laughs> Finally, I am thrilled to present the Gabelli School of Business Dean's Award, which recognizes one student's remarkable commitment to the Fordham community. This student has been a teaching assistant, vice president of Beta Alpha Psi, freshman advising mentor coordinator, and member of Fordham Flava Hip Hop team. She has also been a retention intern for the FAM for the last two years and has been an integral part of creating and streamlining the data collection process for FAM. Congratulations to our Dean's Award winner, Amanda Evans. Thank you, Dean Axoy. Once again, congratulations to all of you who received an award or were recognized tonight. <laughs> to conclude our ceremony, I'd like to welcome our third valedictorian. He is a business administration major with a primary concentration in finance and a secondary concentration in consulting. During his time with us, he was a Woolworth Award recipient and a semi-finalist in the Consulting Cup. He interned with Verisk and will be returning there after graduation. Please welcome to the podium, Richard Torres, Jr. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you, Dean Silver. Um, it's a tremendous honor to be recognized here today, uh, and it's something that wouldn't have been possible without the um, unending support of so many people, um, especially my parents, my brother Christian, my sister Olivia, and my grandparents. They have always pushed me to be my best, and yet have still left me the space to be myself, and for that, I am eternally grateful, and I truly would not be standing here today without you. I'd also like to thank the faculty, staff, and administration at Fordham University and the Gabelli School of Business. Uh, throughout the four years, there has never been advice, resources, or a connection that you couldn't help me out with. And you've afforded me so many unique experiences that I couldn't have been exposed to anywhere else, including a study trip to Monaco, uh, business meetings with Eli Manning and New York Giants executives, and a, an entire semester abroad in London, among many other experiences that I will always cherish. Finally, I'd like to thank you all here tonight, my classmates, my peers, and my friends. It has truly been a pleasure to learn alongside you, uh, especially in such a diverse and talented class. Many of you here in the crowd tonight will be the next uh, change makers and business leaders of the world. Um, and again, it's been such a pleasure to work with you. And whether we've spent countless hours practicing our presentations in Hughes Hall, uh, throwing a football around on eddies, uh, eating on Arthur Avenue, or just traversing the city together, or we've only had brief interactions, I am truly um, grateful for every one of those interactions as they've all shaped me uh, into the person I am today and created a four years that I would not have traded for anything else. 
Uh, which brings me to my second and final point as we reach the end of our ceremonies. Um, but as we move on from a place that has become comfortable and in many ways home, um, we may experience some friction as we move into new homes, jobs, and social networks. And that will be difficult. However, as the sun sets on our undergraduate education and begins in the next, and the sun rises in the next phases of our lives, I challenge you to truly push to make your mark as this education means nothing if we don't do something with it. So reach out to that connection, propose that new idea, apply for that bigger role, even though it may, you may be unsure or it may be scary, and it certainly may be. Because to get where we hope to be in five, 10, 20 years from now, we have to put ourselves out there. And I'm no stranger to the fear of uh, failing or the hesitancy behind making a big decision. But we're all too talented to let anything in life pass us by. With the one exception being any of those aggressive geese on campus. I would say always let them pass you by. As we get on with our graduation ceremonies, I'd like to again extend my congratulations to my fellow valedictorians, Vanessa and Emmy, uh, to you all for achieving everything you have throughout these four years. And I wish you all the best and hope we can stay in touch as we begin these next chapters of our lives. Thank you. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you to all of you for your hard work and dedication to the Gabelli School of Business. We are grateful for your contributions and so proud of the work you have accomplished. We look forward to seeing you at commencement tomorrow. Have a great day.